This film will show you how to prescribe and start treatment with MDT. The benefit of your patient will be the best medication for cure. Most important is of course the prevention of disabilities. Leprosy patients must be treated with a combination of drugs. This is known as multi-drug therapy or MDT. For PB leprosy, treatment is given for 6 months. Here are the 6 blister calendar packs. The monthly dose or pulse dose is taken at the start of each pack at the health facility. The daily dosage is taken at home every day for 6 months. To be effective, the course must be completed within 9 months or less. It is useful to write the due date of treatment completion just after the date of the first dose on the patient record card. Convince yourself that the patient can take out the MDT from the blister pack. For MB, leprosy treatment is given for 12 months. Here are the 12 blister calendar packs. The monthly dose is taken at the start of each pack on day 1. The daily dosages are taken for 28 days for 12 months. To be effective, the MB course must be completed within 18 months or less. All new cases should start MDT without delay. The first pulse dose in the upper strip of the blister calendar pack or BCP should be taken under supervision in the PHC. During this consultation, the patient should be informed as well about the treatment. MDT must also be given to patients that stop the treatment for a longer time. The treatment for leprosy is simple. It is available free and the drugs are supplied in special packs that contain the correct dose for one person for four weeks. All you have to do is to decide which course of treatment the patient needs and to make sure that they take it regularly. How to decide which treatment a patient needs? Some patients have a mild infection. This can be cured by treating the patient with true drugs for six months. This type of infection is called posse bacillary or PB leprosy. Other patients may have a more serious infection. This can be cured by treating the patient with three drugs for 12 months. This type of infection is called multibacillary or MB leprosy. Count the skin patches. If you find five patches or less, classify the patient as PB. If you find more than five patches, classify the patient as MB. If the diagnosis was difficult to make, a skin smear may have been made in the laboratory. If the skin smear is negative and the patient has 5 patches or less, classify the patient as PB. If the skin smear is positive, classify the patient as MB, whatever the number of skin patches. If one trunk nerve is thickened with definite loss of sensation in its area, classify the patient as PV. If more than one trunk nerve is thickened, classify the patient as MB. And now, it is time for the first supervised pulse dose MDT, but not after checking the expiry date. During the monthly meeting in the health center, information and the record of the leprosy patient is handed over to the sub-center staff. The sub-center will follow up the patient and his treatment. Blister packs of MDT are supplied for a full course. The patient should be referred back to the health center whenever problems arise, but anyway after the last BCP is given. By then, a final assessment of the disability and the needs of the patient will be carried out. You should see the patient take the monthly dose of treatment. This helps to guarantee that the treatment is taken properly and prevents drug resistance. Sometimes, the patient cannot come to the health facility every month. To prevent interruption of treatment, MDT for more months may be given. However, support by a family member or ASHA is then preferred. The MDT dosage for children 
varies according to their age but they must take the same drugs for the same length of time as an adult special blister packs are available for children how to give the treatment show each patient how to take the tablets explain that it is very important for them to finish the course of treatment allow the patient time to ask questions about the treatment treat your patients with respect every time the patient comes to collect the treatment record this on the treatment card and in the clinic register check these records regularly to make sure that all your patients are receiving the treatment if someone is not collecting the treatment regularly do all you can to contact them people in the community may be able to help with this multi drug treatment for leprosy classify the patient as pb or mb again always remember classify the patient as pb or mb if you find five patches or less classify the patient as pb if you find more than 5 patches classify the patient as mb if diagnosis is difficult to make by clinical examination only a skin smear may be made in laboratory if the skin smear is positive classify the patient as mb whatever the number of skin patches only one trunk nerve is thickened with definite loss of sensation in the nerve area but no patches classify the patient as pb all new cases should start mdd without delay mdd must also be given to patients who stop the treatment before completing the course explain about the treatment to patient and ensure that they have understood if mdd is interrupted for 3 months or more refer the patient to phc try to find out the reason for an irregular treatment if any and find the solution together with the patient